This is no normal Minecraft public service announcement video. I often cover updates, news and issues directly from Mojang. However, this video is about the modding community and how you could be directly at risk if you are a modded Minecraft player. Now mods, security and viruses is not an area of expertise for me. However, the nature in which this issue has been urgently communicated seems highly significant and highlights how serious this compromise of modding repositories has been. So with that, I feel rather confident in passing on this information to those of you who have not seen it already. And the timing here might have been quite fortunate as it goes with Minecraft 1.20 release just a couple of days ago. A lot of players will soon be queuing up to download new mods as they update to the latest releases as a fair few mods and mod packs were compromised by a virus known as Fracturizer. This is a virus that has been found in several Minecraft projects that have been uploaded to both CurseForge and CraftBucket's developer website. This is malware that's been found inside of mods and some of those were in popular mod packs as well. And this malware targets Windows and Linux, so if you are a Mac user, you probably don't need to worry. As it says here, if left unchecked, this can be incredibly dangerous to your machine. And so there is a lot of reading material that's been made online in case you are a victim of this malware. And if you're curious about the name, it's just simply the user that uploaded these infected mods to the websites. So what do you need to know? Well, there is a lot of heavy reading here that goes into the situation. However, there was a tweet from CurseForge that makes this much more digestible. The TLDR of it is that they've cleaned all infected files on the platform, they've sealed the security breach and they put together a tool to get rid of this malicious virus if it's on your computer. And a quick note on how many users have been infected, it's actually 0.015% of CurseForge's daily downloads, which may sound like next to nothing. However, this thing has been taken very seriously as it was downloaded 6,000 times. So it's difficult sometimes to put these statistics into the right perspective. And this issue has been resolved and responded to really quickly as well. As it says here, it's within the last 24 hours that they've put together this action. And with this being from yesterday, that means the day of release of 1.20 and the following day is when they managed to crack down on this. So there's the looming question of can you play modded Minecraft? If you're to download a new set of mods from the website, you'll be absolutely fine. However, if you've downloaded mods within the past month, then you'll need to check them against this list of mods. So first of all, the mods affected were found in these mod packs, Buried Barrels, Sky Villages, Simply Houses, When Dungeons Arise, Skyblock Core, Prominence, Medieval MC and Better MC. And as for the individual mods themselves, there are 30 of them in total. So I'm going to cover this up on the screen with a list of them in text. This is your prompt to pause, have a read, and then continue with the video. So if you have downloaded any of these mods in the last couple of weeks, then you may want to use this removal tool. However, if using some external software from the internet makes you uncomfortable, there are other steps that you can take first. You want to look and see if these files are on your computer and I should point out that this folder here is the name of the user so you'll need to change that to your username and the other detail is that Microsoft Edge here has a space in it. So if you have a folder with a space between Microsoft and Edge then there is cause for concern you'll probably want to run this tool however if it's Microsoft Edge without a space that is the normal folder. Now that of course applies to a Windows system. If you are a Linux user, then I found this equivalent. However, not being literate with how Linux works, I couldn't exactly explain what you're looking for here, but this article will be linked to down below as will the other one. And it's here that you can find a link to download this tool for Windows and for Linux as well. So let's summarize. If you haven't downloaded any mods in the past month, then don't sweat it. But if you have, double check the mods and mod packs list in this video. If any one of those matches, then you'll want to check your system for suspicious files and quite possibly use the tool as well. And last of all, if you play with any of these mods on a multiplayer server, maybe on a regular basis, you don't need to worry about being infected as that cannot happen through a multiplayer server. So yeah, not great news, but possibly a good thing in hindsight considering how quickly this was caught and how it's tightened up security measures as a response. Lastly, please let me know of a comment if you appreciate this sort of public service announcement. As I said in the intro, this fell out of my realm of knowledge and comfort, yet seemed very serious and I wanted to help keep our modded community safe by spreading the word. So let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.